Yeah, no, I'd heard about Iditarod going way back into the, and have followed it since the 80s. Okay. I was always intrigued by it. It really was very interesting and intriguing, the fact that people would get on a dog sled with 16 dogs and take off over a thousand miles of wilderness. Just really admire those people, you know. But I had, didn't really have a, any idea how much work was involved in it. That's the thing, once you start doing it and you realize, you know, the time and effort and expense and these mushers are super dedicated. I have a lot of respect for all of them that do this. I work at the Alaska Heart Institute. You know, I approached them a couple of years ago about it, changing my schedule and, and working less so that I could pursue some, some of these other interests. And they were very, very accommodating. And so they've given me a lot of job flexibility so that I can still work part-time and do things like train for Iditarod. I think for me, you know, and my approach to this is a lot like going on a climbing expedition where, you know, you have a big goal, you have something, you know, that you're trying to accomplish, but to get there, I'm gonna, you have to break it into small, doable pieces. These dogs, they don't have a ton of miles on them. They're a good dog team, but, you know, I can't just go blasting off and do 70 and 80 and 100 mile runs without stopping. So I'm going to break it up into 40, 50 mile pieces, rest them, plenty of food, plenty of snacks, take good care of them, and then just see how they look and go from checkpoint to checkpoint. You know, and hopefully in a couple days we'll be in Galena, and a couple days later we'll be in Huslia, and a couple days later we'll be in Unalakleet, and you just take it one day at a time. Yeah, doctors are frequently take night call and, and then, uh, you know, work 10, 14, 18 days in a row, you know, and that's the kind of schedule I had before. It does make it a little difficult to plan things, to be available on certain days, you know, for training dogs. So I had, you know, I approached them about making the job change and like I said, they were, they were great. You know, I did a rod, I a lot of it is the challenge and the experience and it's fun and it's a really, uh, at first I wasn't sure about it when I started mushing. I wasn't sure if I could if I was cut out for distance mushing or how long I would do it, but after I did a couple of the qualifiers, Copper Basin specifically, you know, it was good. And it was a pretty challenging race. And after that I thought, you know, maybe, maybe, this might, maybe I could do this. I feel really lucky to have had a chance to like see it from the inside. I may never mush again after this year, I don't know. But uh, just having this opportunity to try it and get to this level has just been great. Thank you.